Hey, what's up guys? I figured I'd make a quick video on this 1978 Roper made Sears LT836 uh, lawn tractor I found free at the curve in my neighborhood. Uh, like I said, it's a 1978. It has an 8 horsepower Tecumseh engine. It's a 36 inch cut. And it's an overall really pretty good shape for its age, uh, 41 years old. When I first picked it up, all four tires were flat, so it was a bear to get it into my truck. But I put air in all four tires, and all four tires have held. They're Goodyear tires, and they're in decent shape. Um, when I first got it, the steering was frozen. The, the front wheels didn't want to move. The gears under the dash were free. It's just this wasn't free. So I sprayed this with uh, crawl and I got them free. And now the steering uh, turns nice and freely. So that's nice. Um, what else is there to mention? Uh, it shifts fine. It's got a Peerless 700 transmission that has a chain that runs down from the center down to this differential. So that's a pretty neat um thing it's a model 917-255-120 not to be confused with uh, american yard products ayp this is a roper uh, they also use this model system um, prior to ayp taking over in the mid 80s serial number 0768v134428 the Tecumseh engine is a um, VM80 um, vertical medium frame 8 horsepower. There's a Sears model number to it. It's 143 period something. And the serial number shows it as a 1978. All original. It's free. It's got compression. The oil's decent. The uh, fuel tank was dry. The air filter is pretty clean and it's not deteriorated. It did have a mouse nest underneath. I cleaned that out. Um, it's got the nice, cool sealed beam headlights. One interesting thing to note about this machine is um, it doesn't have an alternator. It, ran, it originally ran off a, a much smaller battery, and after every use, you had to charge this machine with an AC adapter. I don't have that AC adapter. They didn't throw it away with it, so I would just stick a battery in here and then charge the battery after every use. That's for the electric start and for, to run the headlights and the safety switches and stuff. Um, you don't need that. You can disconnect the uh, harness from the engine, just run it without that, but that's the situation there. Um, I could probably find a charger for this or change this wiring and then have an AC adapter hook in. But uh, like I said, I'll just, Whoever gets it can just charge the battery normally or get a um, charger for it. I would just get a Harbor Freight battery and stick it in there. If you really wanted, I think you could fit a, a normal tractor battery in here and you'd be fine. It's got a pretty big solenoid. I'll tell you what, back in the day they made them solenoids really big. That thing is a monster. It's got your light switch. Uh, traditional um starting uh ignition switch on off on and start you got your choke cable it's a four speed transmission with reverse um also this this is an electric start only engine but they sell a starter cup that you could put on the center of here the kind where you wrap the rope around it and then just pull it to start it so that that's an option you can add to this which is cool and um yeah, other than that, I'll tell you what, this is a pretty neat machine, and for its age, it's in nice shape. Um, the deck is still overall solid. All the spindles and everything are free. The belts are in decent shape. It's got some surface rust, but it's not rotted through. And uh, on this side, you can see it has a metal deflector. There is one small spot over here where it's kind of like rotted but that's that area it won't affect it because this covers it and if you really wanted to you could fix that with a piece of sheet now that's it other than that i'll tell you what this thing is in really good shape it's got these hood straps to strap it down and uh i oh 
it's it's got it's a it's a 78 so it has points and condenser and uh, it doesn't have spark right now because it needs a new set of points and condenser which i have i just haven't had a chance to put them in i already pulled this flywheel off and tried sanding filing the original points and just wouldn't come back so um i'll either throw a new set in or whoever i sell it to can just Put a new set in then or even put one of those nova 2 electronic ignitions in and be done with it but that's it i picked it up for free at the curb and like i said i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with it yet but i'm probably going to get it running and then sell it as is cleaned up i don't think i'm going to tear this thing apart it's too nice i know there are certain parts on this that are worth decent money but it's just too nice so i'd be happy with 300 if i throw it on ebay and somebody out there who's got interest in these buys it for 300 i think i'd be happy with that so uh that's the story on the 1978 roper made sears it's got really cool vintage 70s uh color tone to it you know i know they made them in silver they made them in a few different paint schemes um, and this was one of the uh, nice uh, paint schemes they, they made these in. They built this version from around, I think, 76 to 80. And um, they had another version from 75 back that was a little bit different. And then once they went into the 80s, um, you know, they moved on to that bigger stuff, that big silver stuff. So this is vintage. It's pretty neat, guys. So I just wanted to share... And uh, thanks for watching. And again, for more cool videos like this, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will be happy to bring them to you. All right. Later, guys.